We got a couple quarterbacks and co-favorites with uh, Georgia's Carson Beck, Texas Quinn Ewers, both at 8-1. to one. 12 of the last 14 Heisman winners are QBs. No surprise there. So with that said, Joe, start us off. Who's on your Heisman radar here in June? Garrett Nussmeyer at LSU is 18 to 1. I like the price considering the offense he's stepping into at LSU. Jaden Daniels won the Heisman here last year. 43 points per game, number one in the country. Over 500 yards of offense per game, number one in the country. Premier conference, a lot of big games on the schedule. You're going to see the kid on TV on a regular basis, so he's going to get plenty of pub, plenty of hype, and plenty of attention. Nussmeyer is one of a few, but at 18 to 1, I would get involved in that right now. Steve? Oh, I stay in the same conference at Ole Miss. I look at Jackson Dart. A uh, lot of hype. It's only getting bigger. Lane loves bringing all the attention. He's got it now. Through NIL, through the transfer portal, this team is as loaded as he's had. When you look at the weapons Jackson Dart has, uh, you know, as good as anything in the conference, even losing uh, Quinshot Junkins at running back. And when you think about Lane Kiffin, Say what you want about what's happened with teams in big spots, forever. His team still score. And I think Jackson Dart, without having the experience of playing in the SEC already, is enormous. And you want to talk SEC schedules, I would take, if you were drafting, which schedule would you want? I'd put Ole Miss's up there near the top if I was taking a schedule to play. Now, Ole Miss expectations really hasn't worked out a lot in their history as a program. But when you're talking about Jackson Dart, I love the way he competes. The uh, success in the red zone with his uh, mobility is also a factor. I think he's worth a shot at that price. That's a good bet. I, actually, we, to take you behind the camera here, we get the, the show sheet. I knew you were going to go with Jackson Dart. That would have been my number one pick, but I'll give you somebody else that I really like. Riley Leonard, the transfer from Duke to Notre Dame. This guy's a 6'4 quarterback, dynamic, good arm, really good out in space and running the ball. And physically, when he's healthy, he's really led that resurgence to the Duke program, which obviously changed Steve, uh, to Coach Elko's life and has changed Riley's life as he goes to Notre Dame. Showpiece games, eyeballs are big. Notre Dame has a bunch of them. This guy, I think, could be in the mix in a 20-1. to 1. Not a bad price. Steve, what do you think of Riley? He's got to get better at accuracy and throwing the football down. I love the kid. You saw the drop-off when he was hurt last year for Duke and what he meant to that team, but he's got to get better throwing the football. And I think Notre Dame is set to have a monster season. Yeah. They just pulled in all the recruits from, like, Jerome Bettis, all the former NFL Plastico players. Burris and, uh, yeah. I know they're not oh, going to be Taylor. contributing this yeah. year, but, oh, my God, the recruiting class <laughs> that they're bringing in. Uh, yeah, their pops can play. I hope the kids yeah. can, too.